Later this week, we'll get to see a total lunar eclipse, also called a blood moon. News to meteorologist Alex Libby spoke with a local astronomer to learn more. Alex, what'd you learn? Yeah, Tori, Thursday night into early hours of Friday morning, the moon will pass through the Earth's shadow. And according to Dr. Billy Teets, the director of Vanderbilt's Dyer Observatory, the upcoming lunar eclipse will be worth staying up for. He says, unlike the solar eclipse, which has a very narrow path, Thursday night's lunar eclipse will be visible from almost everyone on this side of the globe. He says totality will last a little over an hour and the moon will turn from white to red. Uh, during these total lunar eclipses, you see that, that red hue because um, thankfully Earth has an atmosphere and as we're blocking the moon uh, from sunlight, uh, sunlight is filtering through our atmosphere and there's a, a scattering effect and so the bluer colors get scattered out. That's why our sky appears blue um, and the redder colors are able to make it through. And seeing the red moon will be a cool sight, but the big question is, will the skies be clear? Because if it's cloudy, we won't be able to see it at all. But let's time it out. Let's start at 11 p.m. on Thursday. In the top corner of your screen over there, there's the moon. Partial totality starts as early as 12.09 a.m., early, early Friday morning, so just after midnight. And you can see so there are clear spots, but there are also spots where there are a few clouds. Totality begins at around 1.26 in the morning on Friday. So again, very, very early hours. You'll have to stay up late or wake up extra early. There are some areas of clouds. The latest high resolution model data shows them in southern parts of Middle Tennessee. But again, there's also areas of clear skies. And remember, it goes an hour when it's in totality. So you might be seeing cloud cover for the beginning of totality, but it might clear out by the end. And then you'll see that wrap up around 346 in the morning on Friday. Tori.